afternoon again. Today is 22nd of April 2023, and today I'm leaving Cluj. Some guy dropped me off to the city center, and now I discovered there is a car show right in the middle of Uniri Square. So I'm gonna check this out before I go to the airport. I still have one hour. Oh, that is a huge one. Well, not every car is very old here. Well, this one. But I do like this classic Dacias. There used to be a lot of them on the road before. I've rarely seen any, any of this. These are in very good condition. That Jaguar is nice. The old Dacia. Not too interested in these American ones. This is nice. That's very old. You got some sports cars, not a big fan of sports cars. And there is another old Dacia. This is good. Some Porsche here, Volkswagen. Why is this doing here? Oh, they look nice. Beautiful weather today. <laughs> All right, that's enough with the cars. Good start for the day. Very nice. My flight leaves 3 o'clock. Still over 3 hours to go. Gonna take a trolley bus from here. Maybe only 25 minute ride. But before I'm gonna buy some pastries. Because I'm not gonna arrive to Italy before 7 or maybe 9, 10 in the evening. Depends of the trains I can catch. Classic Dacia, these are nice. Oh man. Alright, that's enough cars for you. Oh, just outside Cluj Airport, which is there, is the Rome Petrol Petrol Station. So I had a nice Americano here, it was very good, perfect. The Hay Company. Better prices, alright. Well, five is one euro, so, you know. Didn't want to be too much in the airport, so now, now they have a nice coffee place. Eight Romanian Leos was the coffee. So that's less than two euros. I'll cross it here just in case. Witzer is waiting for me. A ticket to Napoli, only 18 euros. It's very cheap. Cluj Airport. As soon as the flight announcement is made, everyone is going to the queue. What is going on? Nobody's even there. Why you want to stand there? Do you do that? This is crazy. That's it, everyone is boarding. I'm waiting till all goes in so I can be the last person. Hopefully, can choose where I want to sit. No point to go inside too early. I'm gonna sit on my ass there about two hours. So, the last bus of uh, people are coming very soon. So, might as well wait here. So, 
Oh, arrived to Napoli after the automatic passport check. I was one of the first ones to get out, and because I went in, last person on the plane, I got all three seats for myself. It was a very smooth flight. What is nice about 22 degrees in Napoli, Italy. So in order to get home a bit earlier, I took a little bit more expensive train, which is 26 euros for a three hour ride. Cheapest one would have been leaving seven in the evening and it's 14 euros only. But it's nice to get there before dark. Even managed to buy some beers from the shop. And uh, when I arrived to the Napoli airport, I realized uh, on the train application, Train Italia, that my train is going to be 15 minutes late. So that's even great. So I'm now waiting for my number. And uh, 16.45, so I'll be home about half past seven. And after I got to the airport bus in Napoli airport, after one minute left, so that was great. Usually I walk to the town because it's about 45 minute walk to the town, it's very good. But today I want to arrive a bit earlier there because otherwise everything is closed. I don't have any food for tomorrow and it's dark. I have some nice views from the train. So that is, that is just fabulous. Oh, nice to be back in Italy. Love it. home but it was late and it was dark so about nine o'clock I arrived managed to get some stuff from my local supermarket after half an hour it was closed so today is 24th of April 2023 so I'll continue this video a little bit perhaps you have seen a little clips of the surroundings because I do have some tiny ones but there it is this is the San Nicola Arcella five kilometers from where I live decided because I live in between the towns so I decided to come here first this is always my favorite spot to have a beautiful views ah just love it it's very quiet yesterday was all sunny uh, two hours ago I was on the balcony about one and a half hour reading the book it was nice and sunny but it's like 20 20 degrees 10, yeah 20 degrees yesterday was a warmer sun's very warm so, and this town you see from distance, Praia Mare, and this is Tino Island. I also have a video about this island when I went to with the Vespa and with the kayak. I went to this island, and on the top there, somewhere, there are some abandoned holiday complexes. And uh, the white things you may see there. These are the uh, also abandoned things, so nothing going on, it's completely abandoned and just on the right side, for the white things there, there are caves. So there's a crystal blue water, you can see some nice fish and uh, just, uh, you know, perfect with the kayak. Well, you can uh, do some tours, so this is no, uh, no problem at all, or you can swim over. To the island then you need to have some proper shoes i think i, I was wearing the flip-flops actually but i managed i will go back there very soon get my kayak out that'll be good fun and some beaches are actually already open i can see so this is the beach i up there i visit quite often in san nicola arcella and these are the prince's palace which they are renovating now i don't know what's gonna be there but the route there all around this is beautiful either with a walking or electric bike because it do gets a little hilly but the hills are good because you have views 
I live on a hilltop because I wanted to have a views. Oh, it's been five months I was here. So this guy is doing still good. Very nice. After a few minutes I get used to it. I have to be careful not to crash. <laughs> to get too naughty on the road. Uh, yeah, there's a nice fish, fish restaurant down there I sometimes visit. It's a very good seafood they do. There were no buildings at all on the beach side uh, just about uh, half a year ago. I think they took everything down and now they rebuilt it. Or maybe because of the water and storms, I don't know. I'm sure there was some stormy. And even this village here, San Nicola Arcella, this is very nice. And this is a restaurant there. And the old town. I probably have videos about this also. About uh, maybe about more than a year ago, I think. I've done some little clips. Little clips also. I was riding there and after this corner there's a landslide. I don't know if it's still there. But uh, yeah, they didn't remove it. So with a bicycle you can go over. But uh, with the Vespa it's no problem. You can go back about four kilometers or something like this. So it's no problem. And up there is a little village. It also belongs to San Nicola Arcella, I believe. And it's up there. There's a round building. Let me just turn around this thingy here. Right. So this is a very nice from the distance. I went there also on a top thing. There is the abandoned restaurant and holiday complex. I will go back there one day as well because I realized there is a uh, rooftop swimming pool. I want to see that one. So it's good I didn't see everything. And of course the views are very good, but not without the scooter. It's a very, very hard walk. Or maybe an electric bike will do. Ah, oh, nice to be back. Yesterday I was also on a balcony there, but most times I was in either on a terrace or a balcony. It's actually it was warmer outside than inside. There right. There we go. Ah I do miss these views. Been saying already this year all this Canary Islands, one month trip, Madeira. Portuguese island and then this Greek islands you know I hardly saw the views like this and surroundings like and uh, if you go up walking there just the first cliff there is a staircase and leads to the back of the mountain there is another beaches there is a cave beach and there is a really beautiful very very interesting beaches not like well this is very nice also but this this what's behind this cliff this is wonderful Wow Always take my mates there to visit this area. Then you can even walk to Scalea, where I'm going now. I'm not gonna walk around too much. I just wanna do some shopping. Uh, because yesterday I couldn't bother to go anywhere because after after really being away like five five weeks on a, on a trip and now five months I haven't been here. I think I left in the end of November when I've done the trip in Belgium. Also have videos on YouTube about this one. But yeah, this is just a short, short ride and I didn't have my bikes in the beginning. I came here with walking even and uh, there's so many beautiful walkways you can take around here and I do love this scenery, especially with the clouds now. That is just great. The Praia Mare, I think it's for seven kilometers from here if you want to go to the train station. It's only one stop with the train from Scalea, so that is nice. Even a couple of houses in the top there. It will be interesting to walk. There are some things you can hike and everything. There's a, there's a lot of outdoor activities to do. That's why I chose this down. It took me, it took me some time. I really um, discovered this, let's say Scalea. I didn't know about this place here, San Nicola Cella, after I came to Scalea. So that, that was a bit of uh, choosing. Uh, went with the third estate agent because many of them were already gone I wanted to see and basically what I did I just uh, put the stuff in my car in Estonia and about two years ago now I just 
you know, I saw the pictures of down and I thought, okay, I'm coming here. I want to have my holiday home here or just, just whatever more than holiday home actually. And I didn't know what to expect. So I arrived here and actually I was, I was more than surprised, especially, you know, the views and everything. It was, it was more than I expected. So there was no way turning my car around and going back. Especially around here in Calabria, this is the area in Italy I am now. You have all these little little towns. You ride maybe five, ten kilometers. Use the next little small town, a cute town. So with scooter, it's best to explore these things. So you can stop everywhere, and I, that is just wow. I'm I am so thankful. I'm really thankful how things at the end turned out. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna go to the Scalea town viewing point where I live. But this view actually is better. This is better. This is really, really something beautiful. Now I came to my town viewpoint. It's a lovely view as you can see the whole town from here basically. There is the beach area. See a few drops of rain coming. I said it might rain a little bit. People are on the beach. This is where I usually stay. Well, I stay in many different places. Sometimes I go all the way up there, not too far. Well, another town with a little island. This is Diamante. Very nice town also. A lot of pictures in the old town and the walls. Some writings. Well, this beach area is not open at all yet. Although these restaurants, some of them, they are working uh, all year around. And the last time I was in one of them there, the beer was only 150 Peroni, the small one, and coffee, cappuccino was also 150. So it's very cheap, that's why I like Italy. Still affordable. Although in five months I've seen, yesterday I was in a supermarket, some prices have gone up. I mean, beer is like 20 cents more expensive. But if you see the offers, so it's not too bad. I don't care about all this pastas and stuff really, if I eat my scrambled eggs and avocado and all this stuff, so... But yeah, I do like Italian cheese, Italian beer and all this, uh, there's still plenty of Italian pizza of course. I like this a lot. I like Italian people, I like the weather, even today. Even in January, the sun is still alright. Once it was 6 degrees, I was on my, with my underwear on a balcony, not 5 minutes. And the sun is still, still warm enough. And the scenery is just what I like, you know. I have some mountain views from my balcony, some snow top covers. So I live behind there, somewhere on a hill. I didn't want to live in a city center, although the prices, you could have the same prices, but I wanted to have a views. And this is how it is now, this Calea. Ah, oh, yesterday was dark, I didn't see, but I'm walking from the train station it's a good connection with the train also, you can go straight to Milan, Firenze, even Torino, uh, straight to the uh, Sicily nearly, or you have to cross with the ferry, only 15 minutes. But that was the main thing, to have train connections, of course the weather has to be, because I like the beach, I like to have a sun, so this is the main thing. The other choice for me would have been Spain, but I like Italy more. The architecture for me, me is, is good, you know. It comes alive a lot. About 200,000 people can be in the summertime. So it's quite undiscovered location by tourists. But I know many, well, personally, I don't know yet. But I know some Americans, whatever, or Australians who live here. So there are quite a few foreigners living here also. Because I traveled in Italy many times before I came here in Calabria so it took me a long time I never heard about this place before so I'm, I was really very happy to find everything I need here and south is more cheaper ah, love the sound of the Vespa very good all right now I'm going to check out a couple of shops I do miss them shops I'm gonna buy some vegetables and stuff that's it. Nice Italian woman. Very nice. And now I'm at the city center of Scalea. 
It's quite a rare thing to have old town just close to the beach. Behind this building there is already the beach side. I do love the old town streets. Quite a few steps there and you can go to the castle ruins. There are also been a couple of times. There you have a very amazing views. Seem to be some markets and then the city is a fun fair also for the kids. So stuff's going on. That's very good. Today's Monday, so it's quiet and it's also siesta now. I think it's about two o'clock. So they do have their riposo. Oh nice. Euro spin after I went well before I went to MD discount store. I love this Euro spin, but the beer choice is not very good. They usually have this best brow, although it's only 49 cents a can. So when it's hot weather, actually, it's pretty good. But they do have some special ones. Well, these ones I already tried 149, and this one 199 is not too bad. So normal beer is, is very cheap, one liter for 109. And they have some stronger best brows and then you have some booze. Well unknown brands doesn't but doesn't mean they shit. So the prices are very, very good prices. Still very good. Limoncello, big one. Sometimes I do like Limoncello. Four euros for 700. No, come on, this is very good price. So, things are pretty cheap. Only 13 euros I spent. I mostly buy vegetables. I love my diet when I come to Italy. So, this is a little shopping village here. It's Galea shopping village. Come here often. You have a big Chinese shop upstairs. I bought so many things when I moved here from there. Well, not all of them are good quality, but still, all right. And this is the Euro Spin. Love, love clothes shop. Terra Nova has again 70%. I bought so many clothes from there last time. They were so cheap. Wow. Can't go there now. I'm gonna buy so many things, I'm sure. No, this. All right, go to the Connaught supermarket now. Scala has about uh, five big supermarkets, so this is very good. Loads of small ones, so uh, got everything here. And this is how it looks from the distance. It's a nice little shopping center. So all the shops are nearby here. Eurospin, Interspar and Connaught I'm going now. So from every shop I get some little things, I know. From here I can't really buy a beer because it's not a good choice. And Connaught is very nice, so I get a few things from here which I can't maybe find from other places. And it's all about the prices, you know. Connaught is more expensive. Eurospin is uh, one of the cheapest ones, but they have a quality products. So that is good. Let's see go. And right here is Connaught. One of my favorites also, it's a big one, close to the train station of Scalea. Of course I'm buying more things because I have my Vespa storage and I have my backpack, so I can't be bothered to go shopping every day, so that's very good. Gone, it's very nice, obviously, reposa time, most of the people are indoors, so there's only a few people around. Bought my favorite tomorrow. Which is a local one from Calabria, 11.45. Sometimes you can get it for nine euros and some very spicy things there. So that's very good. Amara land, back to Amara land. How is the beer land there? How are the prices now? Oh, very good. This I saw in Romania and it's here. And in Romania, it's actually a little bit even more expensive, I think. When I arrived, I was surprised to find about eight beers from the fridge. What the hell, they have a <laughs> Lithuanian beer. I'm sure I had this one. 
Well, it's so so. And Stella has gone up here about 20 cents. Usually it was 159, that is 660 mil bottle. Tuborg's chip power is not so bad. Rare is pretty good, that is also 660. And 660 milliliter Peroni is 125. That is very good price. And 115 for that one. Beyond that is even. It, well, sometimes I drink Peroni, but it's very hot. Master Azura 155. Now this I had last night is a new one, 159. It was a bit cheaper in Interspar, but not much. This is good. This is good stuff. And this I also had yesterday. That was very good. 195. Oh, that's a bit more expensive here. Oh, Messina is one of my favorite. This is from Sicily. 179. Also gone up about 20 cents. Some Belgium offers. This is very good one. Mama IPA. That's good. So you get big one for 298. That's good. That's very good. 750 mil. Small Peroni. This is nice. Do you like the Knusa? That is not so. This is from Sardinia. I prefer this Signusa. That is a good one. And these IPAs, this is nice. So they have a lot of good stuff here. Messina beer, free for 299, 330 mil. So I tried basically most of them. But I like the choice. Very good. They have closed the road here for some reason. Nearly ended up buying a place up there. I like this. The views are the best you can get really. The old towns up there. But last time there was some roadworks up there. Anyway, I don't want to uh, go uh, further because I, I just... Going home, from although from this way I can go home, but it's a, it's a long way up a hill and it's still going around, so... But now I'm using the same way, actually, I came down. It's the best one. And that is the beach area. Summertime is full of umbrellas. You have to pay for many of the beaches for the chair, but you have plenty of free ones. The best free one is where the little cliffs are. So that is perfect. You got the old town view when you, see, when you swim. And right from there, I can take a shortcut back home, just behind these buildings. A little tower. Last year I went to swim, it was about the Romanian guys were visiting May, so we arrived, I think it was 2nd of May, we arrived to Scalea and then we went to swim and it was very good. Outside temperature was only 17 degrees, the sun is so warm and the air is warm, so it, it was perfect, it wasn't cold at all. So. If not this week, next week I'm definitely going to swim. Right now nobody's swimming. But tomorrow might be more sunny. Ah, oh, very nice. Shame to go home too early, but luckily I have all the outside space. So inside space I have like 30 squares and outside I have 50. So that was the main thing there, to have the outside thing. Plus if I'm too lazy to take a sunbed and come to the beach, which is only down a hill, but if you walk, so you go zigzag, about 15 minutes. They should have an elevator there, it will be nice to come down like this. Uh, probably from me, they're starting to clean this up here and put some things, something like this. They have done this little wall there because the waves are getting big and autumn is also nice because it's getting straight deep, it's so nice. You go to swim, three, three, I don't know, three steps, that's it, and it's deep. So that's why in autumn times a lot of waves. So last year I went to swim, it was 15th of November. I could have even gone later, but I went to Belgium. 
and the uh, sea was nice. He wasn't like, oh, I quickly come out. No way, he was very good. Didn't get any rain yet, but it's nice. Oh, there. Do like to walk around here. I'm gonna take some more trips to some smaller towns, although in YouTube you can already watch many of them. I've done previous summer. They're nearby towns. But when the summer comes, I want to go further. I want to go the other side of the sea. Or how you say it? I don't know. The other side of the I don't know, never mind. We shall see. The thing's about 80. Well, from here to the other side, with the sea is about 80 kilometers, I think it is. Well, makes sense. <laughs> Finally, makes sense. Oh, quiet times before busy times. The Italian. Outlook today, I think. My Vespa ordered this from Amazon. Very nice one. Also have a thicker one. Speeds get high, so you don't want to, you know, it's getting windy. And uh, back here now. Keeping this with my legs. The bottle's there, so if that drops, that's that. <laughs> Already blueberries all over the place in the back there, so. But I realized. Uh, there's usually there's no water here. The dry season comes, it might not be raining for a few months. Well, that's the main road leading. You can go to, from this main road to the Sicily pretty much, which is about, I don't know, about maybe 200 kilometers. Less than three hours with the train and you cross with the ferry if you were euros, I think it was, and then you are in Sicily where I went. I think it was last year or the year before. Anyway, there must be videos about this on YouTube also. And there in your cross, you can walk. All the places there. Yeah, and it's a nice walk if you don't have a bicycle or a scooter. It's very, very simple. It will be a nice, uh, nice walk if it's hot. And you come from the shopping, let's say, and you don't have water. Then it's a... You know, good exercise, but you get used to it. The views are all the way nice. There's like three, four ways to come down. So especially with the bicycle, you come down, it's a big bonus. The speed gets really high, so you do need to brake quite a lot. All right, now I'm heading back home. Let's see, I bought some cat food, because I have some cats visiting me there. I was away five months, and as soon as I arrived, the smaller, smaller cat, female one was already there and the mother her mother with a short tail came later on so I'm feeding them they are sleeping sometimes under the bed or in the room I don't care we all want to live I don't mind them they don't really let you know the petting stuff because you know they are they are not uh, domestic cats but you know it's it's between but it's good if you leave so you don't want to get too close otherwise cats will be sad Decided to put my stuff away. Fed the cat. The small one was all meow, 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 meow. Especially you put some wet food. And as you go crazy. Here's another viewpoint. They have also some tunnels. One of the tunnels I went in last time. Actually, the, the platform is here. So this was usually the way I walk. It's strange to walk. Before I was using the electric bikes, but now I have a Vespa, so I'm getting a lazy. Although the other electric bike, the newer one, is quite powerful. So there's no. This is a shortcut, and the other viewing point with a heart, is just around the left of the yellow house. 
and this is where I, how I went back home but you can go straight so this is the most le least painful if you go straight go slightly up a hill ah, it smells so good the citrus trees it's so beautiful people are still at the beach but I never stayed even if it's 30 degrees and it's cloudy I never stay in a beach for me it's pointless you know I, I can maybe go and swim because usually when I go to town I swear my p swim pants and then sometimes I decide you know oh, okay let's go to swim now and I don't care if the pants stay wet you know they will get dry and the water is quite salty so it's a you kind of float there so I like that it's very good it's very nice to float there but it's not too salty. There's the main road going it down. Oh, I bought quite a lot of stuff, a lot of minestrones, some beans, canned beans and uh, long beans, green beans, so it's very good. Yesterday at lunchtime, I had only bean soup and that was it. And I had about three beers in the evening and that was all I had. If you go down from here, the shortcut, but if you come back from the town with your shopping this way before the bikes and everything it takes brutal <laughs> the very bus you get the views you can take breaks like the views evening is nice to look at i forgot i have a vespa I nearly started to walk down so there's plenty of places you can go but sometimes you're too lazy you know just a few days stay on my balcony you know can't be bothered. No problem. All right. Maybe go back to town, buy more stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Now down is getting more busier. Before I usually go out, then it's always reposo. But four of the main supermarkets they are open all day, so this is no problem. Post office is open all day, so that's all good. Oh, nice weather. Right, ride around a little bit. One of the cats is looking. There's a smaller one. There's my balcony up there. How you doing, cat? All full now? Yeah, and a good meal. Look at these ones. This is nice. They smell very good. Nobody lives downstairs. I've never seen anyone there. Bees. Right now I'm on a balcony with the cat was. Or two balconies. But the sun is coming here in the evening and it goes to the sea. So sunset will be very beautiful. At least last night it was. And there's all sea views. Uh, you can't see the mountains with all clouds, otherwise you have some all nice mountain there. Well, the whole thing and some snow-covered tops. And these are the bushes, and this is my relaxing place where I have my sunbed or read a book. But now. I'm gonna have my second coffee right here. I'm gonna learn some Italian language. It's been a while. I love the Italian coffee and I'm gonna eat the plum. Oh, it smells so nice here. Beautiful. Ah. So, shall we look inside where I'm staying? When in Italy, unless some in different town in Italy. So I installed some mosquito nets, much needed, because the mosquitoes are coming. Who's this? Uh, losing to be harmless. Let's get it out. <laughs> get out. All right. Here we go. So this is my bedroom. Nice big double bed. These two cabinets were green before, so I painted them. They were here already. Of course, the must have Italian map. So I can show you where I am now. 
somewhere here in Calabria. And that is the one. That's Sicily, and there we got Sardinia. Very good. And this furniture was here, but I colored this. It's a black one. This is what I've done. And this is the good online beer company. I sometimes order from there. And uh, TV, of course, subwoofer. I always have. Can't stand the TV sound. These were actually all here. Maybe. That's my piano. Haven't played this for a while. Caught the fire once because I left it. It wasn't on, but it was in the, in the plug. So now I'm taking things out. But it was a very hot day. It was my fault. But I got it fixed. So now. More chairs, which I painted red. And there it is. Just enough space for me. So all I do is sleep here, that's all. Right. Now, let's move to the bathroom. Bathroom is pretty much original. It looked already nice. I changed the curtain after some, I don't know, one year, I think. Sinks here. Furniture was here. The top of the toilet, toilet lid, and this is my my doing, and I colored the holder, and you can have a sea view from here. A little bit. Don't have a mosquito net here, so that's why I'm keeping it closed now. Shower is very good. So bathroom is a nice size. I'm very happy with the bathroom, and ah. There's a wild animal here. Ooh, is that a sm yeah, that's a small one. The other uh, cat has a short tail, the mother. This is the, I think about one year old. They uh, call it Tippy because once, about the same place where she's staying now, she made a wee wee. But only once luckily, otherwise they won't be inside here. I just hovered the cover, but never mind. Cat can stay there, I don't want to go crazy. And this is my automatic feeder when I was away on a trip. So I was using this for my mobile phone. But it was empty when I came back. Must have been empty after a few months, I think. So this sofa was here. Most of decoration, they were, well, this I bought myself. Oh, that stopped working after 10 minutes, I think. I bought it. I think she's expecting, you see. Look, see. I think the other one as well, so I don't know what's gonna happen then. But yeah, all these little details, they were over here. So I put the colorful lights here. So I like colorful things. Well, speaker's mine. Sven, some Finnish company, never never heard about this. Some books, Archipolo, some decoration thingy. Shoes, this I picked up myself. Neighbors are there. Got no mosquito net here. So there's my printer here, this cover I changed twice, because I like this more. Computer, internet, AC, and the kitchen, that's how it actually was. TV I rarely use, it's, it's mostly for the decoration, and even, even that one, big one, I only, only when I go to bed I put it on, and I mo mainly watch some stuff from my USB stick or YouTube. Carpet wasn't here before, so I bought that one from I don't know Amazon. I think might have been. Oh, and the best thing, the coffee machine. Love that one. The gas is good to cook with the gas. I love it. So I got my beans here. So I'm gonna cut these ends off. I love the beans. So this is my uh, telly, the blueberries I bought today, and some of the things I'm trying once i had the whiskey tasting event so i bought most of the cheap ones to see which one is the best one so i took only one shot from each of them it's like 700 mil it's like six seven euros only so some are the rum this is not even open so there's lots of them i was actually surprised when i came back it's like whoa i didn't know i have so many here and here is my map and 
all these dots, I don't know if the video is showing, are the places where I've been. So actually, if you stand on here one side, you can't really see the dots. But it was interesting, that marker I used. The gold, uh, this is, uh, I think it's the uh, silver marker, yeah. So I already marked my Turkish journey here and, uh, and the Greek islands, which was last week and the other weeks. Ah, I still have, yeah. April, uh, the sorry, the February trip was still unmarked. So I was on these islands here, and oh, this one, but they are also here. So I have to mark them now. Well, I want to do it. It's nice to see, you know. And the same kind of map I have in Estonia, and also the world map I have there. So everywhere I stay, I need to have a nice map. 20 degrees here now, while well, keeping everything open. So even, even if I go to the city, I leave the doors open if I know it's not gonna rain. Because this is very safe here, I feel safe. You know, this can be all open, whatever, i am be away five hours or... Of course, if I'll be away all day, then just in case the rain starts, then I close the things. And that's that. Shall we check in the fridge? What's going on? I bought so many things today. Oh, I made some lemon juice, some beer, minestrone, I bought like five minestrones today, I think. Avocado, the big fat one, and the loads of Amaros. And, yeah, wow, just trying all these new drinks they have here. It's very interesting, even vodka, oh god. Summertime, I can't say for vodka, no, it's too... No, summertime is good for beer. I don't have the oven, but I don't. I have the oven like this one, but I don't really use it at all. I think once I made a pizza there, and I have toaster. Toaster is there, very important. The kettle, I make a green tea every morning. And some souvenirs from San Marino. There is my Falco beer. All these baskets were already there. And some more souvenirs from San Marino. These were all here, and this is from my mom from England. British birds. What else is here? The candies or more drinks? Wow! <laughs> oh my god! Kimball, one of my favorite coffees. Well, most of them are favorite. All right, this is it. This is where I'm staying, and later on, I will go to the terrace also to see what's going on there. There we go. And these are my spicy beans with olive oil, steaming hot, love them beans. Do you want some beans? Vegetarian cat. Fat is the other one, expecting also Santa Claus is coming too early. They do eat a lot. Sun went behind the clouds, so over there. Well, I'm gonna enjoy a little Peroni now, the 129. New one. Ah, this is a nice summary. A bit lemony. Good one. Cheers, guys. Alright, it's already dark, but I'm sitting on my terrace. My favorite place to be. Most of the time I'm outside here. And these are my two electric bikes. The right side, there's an old one, about four years old, but a new battery costs you about 300 euros. So it's nearly end of its life. It's still all right, but not very good in it. Well, the hills, especially around here, but a new one. This goes a little bit more than 40 kilometers an hour. That is, that is a very good bike. But now I'm using mostly Vespa, so it's staying here. Yesterday I charged the battery. Usually I keep Vespa here, but the first time I left it outside. Because uh, when I, let's see the entrance, when I go in from here, it fits perfectly, but I have to 
fold my mirrors so it's very nice and I, have, I didn't know uh, before I bought it it's gonna fit or is it not gonna fit try to look at measures how it is and then when I got uh, the Vespa here and it did go in exactly nicely so I was very happy but there's a little step here so I need to figure something out so it's not very easy to get it from this side outside I have to be very careful once I hurt it my wrist and these are my citrus trees last year I got seven lemons I have two old ones left it seems this seems to be like a new one it was full of grass so I moved it yesterday but now cats are going to poo there or pee it smells beautiful and this is the orange very good I got one street lightning there so I don't need to turn this even on and some from the Chinese shop I have here and this is full of grass it's surprising that still works and this one there it still works these chairs were also here this will go all red and green I think next month so that is the most beautiful one got little features here so the terrace was in a very good condition so I painted all the fence here once with silver and the hammock is here and this is my pomegranate tree last year I wasn't sure it's gonna make it but now it started growing so that is good I can't stay in there don't know which one it is uh, all black and this is a small pomegranate tree I took it from the big one so it's still growing, that's good. That's fake ones, five euros from Chinese shop. This is also fake. And these are very nice ones. Oh, the shadow, I think it is. There's a big ones, cones. Got water here. So that was in very bad shape, actually. I had to redone what I was, didn't do work myself, but, but some guys were doing it and well, that was that was a very bad state. So old storage unit is uh, painted all. This sign installed here. So although terrace was in pretty good state, I still had to do a little bit of work because this is how it is. You know, you wake up in the morning and say, "I want to do this. I want to do that." So I installed some lights here. So I need to uh, get the Italian after for now adapter from upstairs so see how it is it's gonna be very bright i had it once installed but i was away so don't want to leave it there in the winter time it gets a lot of rain and here i can sit even if it's raining because i have a cover there so a nice nice private corner here very good and i'm enjoying my capo in calabria amaro this is very good a bit spicy and amaros are made with the loads of herbs Ah, very good, very good. All right, guys, this is how I live here in Italy. I'm happy. I really like this place. How things turned out and all this. Other other things I'm very thankful. So this is how it is. Take care, guys. Hopefully, I will see you soon. I'm gonna go around some places. But now, a few days, I'm not gonna just do anything. I'm gonna stay here after all this long journey I had for five weeks. Just gonna chill here, have some sunbed, hopefully go to swim soon. And that's it. All right. See you later, guys.